OpenAI wants to put ChatGPT in your ear. Not through an app, not through your phone, but through a wearable device you wear all day that listens, responds, and acts as your personal AI assistant. The leaks just dropped, it is codenamed Sweet Pea, and it could launch later this year. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So here is what we know. A leaker on X going by Smart Pikachu has revealed details about OpenAI's first consumer hardware product. It is an audio wearable, but do not think AirPods. This is something completely different. OpenAI is building this with Joni Ive, the legendary designer who created the iPhone, iPad, and yes, the original AirPods. Last year, OpenAI acquired Ive's design company IO for $6.5 billion. Now, we are seeing what they have been working on. The device is reportedly the number one priority on OpenAI's hardware roadmap, with Foxconn already preparing to manufacture it. Production has shifted from Luxshare to Foxconn, with manufacturing planned for Vietnam, which signals serious consumer scale intent. The target is 40 to 50 million units in the first year alone. To put that in perspective, that is nearly as many AirPods as Apple sells annually. OpenAI is not experimenting here, they are going straight for the mainstream. The design. So what does Sweet Pea actually look like? According to the leaks, the charging case is a smooth metal eggstone shape with a unique design the leaker describes as unseen before. Inside are two pill-shaped ceramic modules that you remove and wear behind your ear. Not inside your ear canal, like traditional earbuds. Think of it more like modern hearing aids than AirPods. This behind-the-ear design is intentional and solves real engineering problems. Regular earbuds fall out during movement and become uncomfortable after a few hours. Moving the heavy components behind your ear allows Sweet Pea to stay put all day without causing ear fatigue. It also frees up the ear canal for better comfort during continuous use and creates space for larger batteries and more powerful processors. The thermal management is better too, which is crucial when you are running complex AI models all day. The leaked specs mention a 2 nanometer smartphone class chip, reportedly Samsung Exynos, plus a custom AI coprocessor. That is not the low-power hardware you find in typical earbuds. This is phone-level processing power sitting behind your ear. The leaker says the bill of materials is closer to a smartphone than earbuds, which suggests the price will be high, but the capabilities will be substantial. Each module reportedly houses its own battery and processor, so the device can run independently without constantly relying on your phone. The AI capabilities. Here is where Sweet Pea separates itself from everything else on the market. This is not a Bluetooth receiver that connects to ChatGPT on your phone. The custom silicon is designed to let Sweet Pea run AI independently and even replace iPhone actions by commanding Siri. That means you could have ChatGPT level intelligence running on device, always listening, always ready to help without pulling out your phone. Leaked diagrams also show an ultrasonic transmitter and signal pickup sensors inside the device. According to analysts at Wearable, this means Sweet Pea could offer environmental sensing and contextual awareness rather than just acting as a passive audio device. It might detect ambient sounds, understand your environment, or even pick up physiological cues to know when and how to assist you. The device plays sound normally without bone conduction, but its sensing capabilities go far beyond standard earbuds. Sam Altman has described his vision for AI devices as having incredible contextual awareness of your whole life. He compared current smartphones to walking through Times Square with flashing lights, crowds bumping into you, and constant notifications demanding attention. The new device, he said, should feel like sitting in the most beautiful cabin by a lake. Peace and calm instead of chaos. You trust it over time and it filters things out. OpenA's hardware, Push Sweet Pea, is not a one-off experiment. 
OpenAI has told Foxconn to prepare capacity for five different devices by the end of 2028. Other products reportedly in development include an AI-powered pen codenamed Gumdrop that can record handwriting and transcribe notes directly into ChatGPT, a home-style device likely a smart speaker, and potentially smart glasses that embed visual AI into your environment. In a letter published on OpenAI's website, Sam Altman and Joni Ive wrote that great tools require work at the intersection of technology, design, and understanding people. They described creating a family of devices that would let people use AI to create all sorts of wonderful things. Joni Ive added that he wants products that are so simple and beautiful, you almost want to take a bite out of them. Altman said when he saw the first prototypes, he got exactly that feeling. This is open AI moving ChatGPT off the screen and into everyday life. The timing matters too. We have seen AI wearables fail before. The humane AI pin launched with hype and landed with disappointment. The Rabbit R1 faced similar criticism. But a purpose-built audio wearable from the creators of ChatGPT, designed by the man who shaped the iPhone, could be the one that finally breaks through and makes AI wearables mainstream. What this means for Apple and competitors. If SweetPea launches as rumored, it puts OpenAI in direct competition with Apple, Google, and Amazon. AirPods would suddenly face a rival that is not just for music and calls, but for full AI assistance and task management. Apple is already bolstering Siri with AI improvements, and reports suggest they are integrating Google's Gemini to make Siri smarter. But having ChatGPT itself in a dedicated wearable designed specifically for AI interaction is a different proposition entirely. The broader industry has been pivoting toward AI-first hardware. CES 2026 was full of AI wearables trying to find the right form factor. OpenAI entering this space with serious production numbers and Joni Ive's design credibility could set the standard for what AI wearables should actually be. One analyst noted that wireless earbuds are evolving beyond simple audio devices into full computing platforms, and SweetPea represents that vision taken seriously. Right conclusion. So where does this leave us? The leaks point to a September 2026 launch, which is only months away. OpenAI has not officially confirmed anything and plans could change. But the details we have seen suggest this is real and moving fast. The manufacturing partnerships are in place, the design philosophy is clear, and the ambition is massive. The real questions remain. Can OpenAI deliver meaningful AI functionality that justifies smartphone class hardware in your ears? Will the audio quality meet expectations for a premium product? And most importantly, are consumers ready to embrace earbuds as their primary AI interface? What I find compelling is the shift this represents. AI is moving from something you access on a screen to something that lives with you constantly. An always-on ChatGPT companion that knows your context and helps throughout your day. Whether SweetPea delivers on that vision or not, this is clearly the direction the industry is heading. I would love to hear your thoughts. Would you wear an AI assistant all day? Let me know in the comments below.